Good morning, baby. So we're filming on my new GoPro Hero 10. Hopefully the quality is okay. You guys saw GTR runs amazing. She starts good, but we have one little issue. As you can see, she is leaking a little bit of oil. Honestly, not that big of a deal. I jacked the car up and it's coming from the lower oil pan, which is much better than the upper oil pan. Honestly, I could do it, but I just don't trust myself with this car. So I am gonna drop it off to Austin next week and he's gonna reseal the pan for me and it should be perfect. GTR is running great, but she is leaking just a little bit of oil. So I've checked the oil every time before I drive to make sure it's good. And then also GTRs are super advanced and they have a sensor on the oil pan so it tells you if it's low. So we're chilling, we're good. She ain't gonna blow up and today's gonna be super sick because we're actually gonna go and we're gonna put some E85 in this thing and see if she rips because I've been putting 91 in it. It seems like she's running really rich because when I floor it, a lot of black smoke comes out and it does have the flex fuel sensor so I have no idea if it was tuned for E85 but we're just gonna send it. I'm just an idiot and we're just gonna see what happens. Here she is, looking beautiful, looking minty. We did get a brand new windshield. So you guys saw the windshield before was cracked. Auto Film Solution came out and did a new windshield for me and it looks so much better. So this thing is slowly but surely coming together. We're gonna get the oil leak fixed. Mm, God, I still, every time I see this thing, I just don't believe it's my car. Maybe this thing's leaking in a few spots. We're gonna find out. This is what happens when you buy the cheapest GTR in the country. Oil leaks just appear, things happen. So let's go get some E85 and see if this thing rips. I'm gonna, before I roll, I'm gonna check the oil. I should probably do that. Yep, checking the oil. Right, so once we take off from this light watch how fast this thing accelerates i'm gonna keep it in auto that way i can keep filming watch this jesus god this thing is so fast i cannot get over how fast it is Woo, baby i love this car gtr you're so good and that's on 91 octane about to get that E85. All right, boys, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but I was able to click on the details of the map that's on here currently. It says 1,000 cc injectors, three inch cob intakes, map one is 10 PSI, map two is 15 PSI, map three is 17 PSI, and map four is 19 PSI flex fuel kit installed. So I think I had turned it up to map four, so I think that was 19 PSI map, and it probably should have been on E85 and not 91. So I'm gonna keep it on map four. We're gonna go throw some E85 in this thing, and we're gonna see how she rips. Honestly, I think this thing is gonna be terrifying on E85, and that's probably why it was blowing black smoke in map four, because it was running rich. E85 should lean this thing up pretty good. Oh, and yeah. Access port V2, super old. I'll probably go ahead and get the Ecutech eventually because it's just a nicer tuning software and then I'll get this thing retuned and we'll have her making some jam. All right boys, first fill up in the GTR with E85. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous just because I don't know what the tune is on this thing. I think it's gonna be fine. I mean, it says it's tuned for E85. It's got the flex fuel kit, bigger injectors, fuel pumps, like it should be fine. So let's throw E85 in her. We're gonna take her for a rip. I'm gonna try and get a POV video for you guys because this thing should absolutely scoot. I bet this thing probably makes 550, maybe 600, maybe not, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited, let's do this. Seven gallons, we're gonna call that good. All right, we did seven gallons, 20 bucks, no receipt, boy. Here goes nothing. Well, she seems okay. Are you gonna be happy, GTR? 
Are you gonna be happy with some E85, baby? Yeah, we'll be good, right? All right, so I'm probably one of the only people that would do that with a GTR, but it's fine. I don't know who tuned it. It's fine. Let's see if she rips. Honestly, it already felt so fast on 91. On E85, this thing is gonna, it's gonna scream. So let's go, baby. Let's go gap some people. And you guys already know, once the oil leak gets fixed on this thing, we're gonna go out to Mexico, we're gonna do some street racing, and hopefully we can gap some people. Cause I got beat by an RS3 last weekend and a Porsche, and it made me really sad. So we gotta get a redemption run. I haven't gotten any check engine lights, nothing yet. I don't know if there's a way on this to be able to see what the ethanol content is, but we're just gonna wing it and Hope for the best. All right, so all seems well right now. I put it into manual mode and I'm a little, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I already thought this thing was super fast as it was and now it's probably gonna be even scarier. Oh, GTR things. All right. Oh yeah, she rips, baby. That was like, that was like half throttle. I didn't wanna do a full pull yet, just in case, but. So far, so good. No weird codes, no nothing. I think she likes some E85. Man, I just, I love this car. It's so smooth, the AC blows cold. Oh, I love this thing. As a daily, I think GTRs are perfect. When people are like, oh, they make really crappy dailies. I beg to differ. I could daily this thing every single day and be completely happy with it. Makes all the right noises. You got the flappy paddles, like listen to that. Oh. Oh yeah, she rips. Woo, hoo, hoo, baby. Let's go. Dude, I haven't even done a full pull yet, so we'll see. We'll see how she rips. Tater chip, are you turning? out this video so let's get it 85 on a stock turbo GTR let's go yep she's fast she is fast god I love this thing the top end on this car just feels so stupid I love this thing 
it honestly rips for being e85 and no other mods really it's just a flex fuel kit stock turbos it has a mid pipe but everything else is stock down pipes are stock cat back is stock it rips pretty good so i can't wait to see what this thing is like full bolt-ons because you already know we have to go full bolt-ons here soon and yeah i'm honestly super impressed it's just the beginning of the gtr but i really wanted to give you guys a baseline of kind of what this car is as i bought it and then we'll see what she's like once we go full bolt-ons we'll get her retuned and it should rip pretty pretty good all right i lied one last pull for the boys let's do a little first gear rip make sure that's not a cop see the traction control light is she making that much jam that was weird i had my foot planted but the traction control light was on huh maybe she's just that fast oh i probably should have turned traction control off i totally forgot but that's okay that's how you know she's making some jam she's fast it's not as fast as my old evo 8 but dang this thing scoots for just being a stock turbo not even full bolt-on car on some e85 I'm pretty impressed. I'm not even going to lie. I want to go out and do more racing to see how it stacks up against some of my buddies because a lot of my friends have some very fast cars. All right, there we go. So I switched back to the big camera. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been this in love with a car. This thing is sick. I, I've dreamed of having a GTR for the longest time. Now that I finally have it, I didn't know what to expect or if I'd like it. And it's not as fast as my old Evo but it just, it's torqueier. The power feels more usable. It's just, this is literally the perfect car. It's the perfect daily. It's fast. It gets attention. It looks good. I love this thing. So I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I have so many videos in the works, literally like I'm going to have so much content for you guys. So this build is going to be so dope. Um, my carbon trunk gets here tomorrow. So stay tuned for that video because we're going to make this thing look the part. Then we're going to make her fast and she's going to be so pretty, so perfect. We're just going to build my dream car, which is so dope. So I hope you guys are excited. I'm going to shoot for two videos a week, at least one banger video a week. So basically what Austin's going to do, he's going to drain the oil. He's going to remove the pan and then he's going to let it drip dry. Uh, so that when he puts RTV on the pan that it seals correctly. So it should only take him about two hours to do, but it's going to have to sit on the lift overnight for him to do it. So it'll only take two days and then I'll have the GTR back. We'll have no oil leaks. And I'm looking for another project car. If you guys have an STI or an Evo that has a blown motor or just needs some work, let me know because I am looking for a second project car. This thing is going to be like my daily, my perfect daily driver. I know I said I was only going to focus on the one car, but I really want an STI to rebuild or another Evo because I just love wrenching on those cars and this car scares me and we're gonna build it sick but I don't know that I'm gonna be doing all the work to like the motor and all of that stuff or bigger turbos so if you guys have an STI or an Evo let me know but that is all for today's video I don't know how long this is gonna be probably gonna be a longer video yeah probably hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did smash the like button subscribe to the channel I will see you guys for the carbon fiber trunk install it's gonna look so freaking dope dude let's go I love this car get a GTR I promise you'll love it. Okay, see you guys in the next one.